What's the deal with mouthwash? There's lots of controversy circling social media saying it's bad for you, is it? Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about mouthwash and address the four mouthwash claims that are circulating social media. So let's jump right in. Claim number one, mouthwash can stain your teeth. This is actually true, but not for all mouthwashes because it's generally related to one of these two ingredients found in some mouthwashes, acetylpyridinium chloride or chlorohexidine glutinate. But before you panic and go check your mouthwash that you've been using for months and months now and you wanna go throw it away if it has one of those ingredients, stop, don't panic, don't throw anything away. If it hasn't stained your teeth, your teeth by now, it's not going to stain them. Mouthwash stains teeth in super small percentages of people, about 3% of people. It's very rare that it'll happen to you. Most tooth stains come from lifestyle factors, such as things we eat and drink, right? Coffee, tea, wine, smoking, etc. But for the small percentage of people who do get staining from mouthwash, from one of those two ingredients, the stains are easily polished off when you get your teeth cleaned at your dental office, so it's not permanent staining, no worries. And if you want to learn more about mouthwash and tooth stain, I will link my dedicated video in the description box. Claim number two. Mouthwash can give you cavities. Um, no, no, it's not going to give you cavities, but some mouthwashes might increase your chance of getting cavities. I do also have a dedicated video all about mouthwash and cavities where I go into more detail about explaining this if you're curious. So I'll also link it in the description box, but quick recap, if you are someone who is cavity prone, you tend to get lots of cavities and you're looking for a mouthwash to prevent cavities, make sure to always use an alcohol-free and a neutral non-acidic mouthwash. Alcohol-free is easy to find. It will say it on the bottle. But to find the acidity level, you have to find out the pH of the mouthwash. So the lower the pH, the higher the acidity, the worse for your teeth. For example, the pH of water is about seven, very neutral and very good for your teeth. When looking for the best mouthwashes to prevent cavities, you wanna make sure the mouthwash is around level seven pH, right? You don't want anything like pH level three, which is similar to Mountain Dew, very acidic, very bad. You wanna stick with things in the pH range of six, seven, eight. And to make it even easier to decipher, I will link my pH level chart on my website, teethdarkgirl.com. But yes, it's incredibly interesting that they would even sell acidic mouthwashes at all. I don't know. That's not, I don't know why they do that. It seems wrong. <laughs> when we know that high acidity is damaging to tooth enamel. But regardless, if you do end up finding out that you are using an acidic mouthwash, either rinse with water after using it or stop using it or ask your dentist what they think you should do. They know your mouth best and what would best benefit you. And also, of course, check out my video and my chart to learn more. Claim number three, you're supposed to use mouthwash before you brush your teeth. Hmm, sometimes true, sometimes false. For this, they are saying it because they want you to keep the toothpaste on your teeth after you're done brushing. So you brush, spit, and don't rinse with water. The idea is to leave the toothpaste on your teeth if it has fluoride in it. Fluoride toothpaste is more concentrated than fluoride mouthwash. So yes, it's good to keep toothpaste on your teeth. But in reality, most people think keeping toothpaste on their teeth feels disgusting, including me. I can't get into the texture. So I would never force my patients to do that. I say it's fine to rinse and switch with water after brushing if you need to, so your teeth feel smooth, and then use a fluoride mouthwash after and keep that on your teeth. Again, Again, only if it's free of alcohol and not acidic. But if you don't mind the toothpaste thing, that's great. Probably is the best thing to do, but don't feel bad about it if you can't get into it. By the way, I'm only talking about fluoride mouthwashes here for the after brushing claim fluoride, anti-cavity, neutral mouthwashes only. Because if you really like the antiseptics, the non-fluoride mouthwashes, then sure, it probably is better to use those before you brush your teeth. I wouldn't use those after because with antiseptics, you're more likely to have one with a higher acidity level, like we just talked about, and the alcohol containing. The bad qualities of mouthwash are more often with the antiseptics, not always, but more often the bad qualities are with the antiseptics as opposed to with the fluorides. Not always, but often. So the clear answer is fluoride toothpaste is best to leave on your teeth after brushing. But if that's not your thing, totally cool to use a fluoride mouthwash after. But if you like antiseptic mouthwashes, don't use those after brushing. Unless of course instructed by your dentist or dental hygienist. Because yes, there are some reasons why you would want to in the periodontal disease world. I'm gonna pop another video of mine in the screen again. And lastly, claim number four, alcohol-free mouthwash is better than alcohol-containing mouthwash. This is absolutely true. I've already kind of mentioned this, but what I didn't say yet is that the alcohol dries out your mouth and dry mouth can lead to cavities. So another thing that can be related to claim number two, mouthwash gives you cavities. Again, that doesn't mean you can't use any mouthwashes. You just gotta find the right ones. Because although I would never recommend alcohol-containing mouthwash, I'm almost tired about talking about any of this mouthwash stuff because I, I need everyone to know that mouthwash 
in general isn't that important. Using mouthwash is not the answer for healthy clean teeth. Mouthwash does not make or break your home care game. Swishing with a liquid cannot manually remove plaque from your teeth. Only the mechanical motions of a toothbrush and floss or a water floss or interdental aids, anything that is removing plaque from your teeth, that's what will make or break your home care game. Mouthwash is just an additional thing that lots of people like. Of course it can help prevent cavities if it's fluoride, non-acidic, non-alcoholic mouthwash, but it's still nothing compared to flossing in between your teeth, right? That's what's really going to prevent cavities. So if we're all on the same page about preventing cavities requires manual removal of plaque and debris from your teeth, then okay, cool. We're all on the same page. Another thing you can do is use a neutral non-acidic anti-cavity mouthwash because yes, those mouthwashes can aid. They can assist in cavity prevention, but don't forget mouthwash does not replace brushing and flossing. <laughs> Say it with me. Mouthwash, mouthwash does, does not, not replace, replace brushing, brushing or, or flossing. flossing. In all, I think the reason mouthwash is so confusing and there's so many of these claims circulating right now is because yes, some are better than others. And like we said, those others are sometimes extremely questionable as to whether or not they are damaging your teeth. You know, the highly acidic ones, the alcohol containing ones, not sure why they're being sold, but hey, it brings me back to my point. Stop worrying about mouthwash, just brush and floss and you're all good. But I will, of course, link some mouthwashes in the description that I do recommend, the non-acidic, non-alcohol ones. How many times can I say that? If you're interested, as well as all the videos that I mentioned, everything is linked in the description. I hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if it did. And remember, it's always, 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 always best to talk with your dentist and or your dental hygienist about which mouthwash is best for your individual mouth. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on Instagram, at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and team.